UMass Lowell women's cross country team took a huge step a year ago. They finished fourth at the America East Championships. It was their best finish ever, and that was with what was described as a very, very young team. Well, it's still a young team, but now it's a young team with experience and confidence, and maybe, just maybe, some expectations. I think we took the next step, um, you know, during the indoor and outdoor season. You know, we were a much better team indoors, you know, and then into outdoors than we were in cross country even, you know, and then that helps a lot, you know. So we really developed, they put in a phenomenal summer. Um, both teams are extremely fit. Um, so at this point, we're just holding them back and, and making sure we don't get ready too early um, into the season. And uh, they're, they've run, they've run great, you know, all along. So, you know, I think, you know, aiming for, you know, a top three finish is, is a legitimate goal. And, you know, if you're in the top three, anything can happen on any particular day. All the girls did their work over the summer. Um, not just the running, we did all the little things, the core, the strides, you know, and I think this year we have higher expectations of ourselves than any year previous. And um, we definitely want a lot more out of the season. I think it's just, um, you know, everyone wanting it. It's you know, the motivation. Um, you know, you can do all the work and go on all the runs, but if you don't really want it, it you know, you're not going to propel yourself to the next level. Um, and it's like setting those little goals for yourself and having those like dreams that really help and really make the difference. You know, you have Jackie as a senior and, you know, Catherine as a sophomore and you still have some young kids in there with Allie Morris and Nicole, Nicole being freshman eligibility and Allie sophomore. You know, our top four kids are from four different classes, you know, which is a, ni which is a nice thing because they're all getting that experience. And, you know, one of the reasons we traveled those kids to pre-nats last year and, you know, pre-conference and, and meets like that was so that they could have that experience so that this year when we thought we could put together a pretty good team, you know, that they, they've already been through everything. You know, I think last year we went to America East and it was the second or third most competitive meet we went to all year. And, and that's kind of our goal, you know, by going to coast to coast. And this year and Paul Short and, and pre-Nats, you know, they're going to go to, you know, overall depth. You know, America East might be the third or fourth best meet we go to all year. You know, and that was, that's by design so that when we go there, they're perfectly comfortable whatever situation, you know, we put them in. Yeah, I definitely think she probably sets the tempo you know, as far as, as that goes. You know, we, we definitely have, you know, four kids that can all, you know, have finished in the top 10 or, or can't finish in the top 10. I think Catherine was 11th, Allie was 10th, and, you know, Jackie was also in the top 10. You know, what we really need is, you know, if we're gonna be successful to have one or two kids that have the potential to be in the top five, two other kids in the top 10, and somewhere around where our fifth guy finished for the men last year, somewhere between, you know, 13th and 18th. If we can do that, then you know, we, we talk about it. If we can do that and win or lose, we did what we could.